going to be a short message because I just wanted to connect with you before I leave. I have a workshop today and if you've been watching the daily vlogs, you know that my my life has been going like this, up, down, up, down, this roller coaster ride. But the cool thing is today I have a workshop that could, you know, open up some opportunities for me to, you know, get some employment, paid acting, theater, television film and uh, you know I'm just going to see what they have to say I have headshots I have my resume um, also have a video I'm working on uh, been getting this reminder inside of me about loving others and loving people and uh, I'm putting that into action I have some homeless friends out there on the streets and the ghettos there in town and I'm gonna go and uh, pick them up in the morning and uh, have them out here to have a bath and to shower up and uh, fill them with a hot meal and let them sleep on the bed or the couch for a while and, uh, and just let them relax and unwind and feel the sense of home a little bit tomorrow. So I don't know what that looks like. Um, at the very least, um, I, I talk to them and I'd like to have a few pictures with them. You know, these are my friends. I've been getting to know them. I go and visit them. I take them food and drinks and stuff and I give them a few bucks, you know, so it's not like this is, you know, totally out of the blue. I mean, I've met them a couple times, some of them more than a couple times. Uh, so either Stevie, Wanda or John or Tisha, one of them or all of them. I've extended the invitation to come back to my house and use the shower, use the bathtub, enjoy a meal, play some games, play with the kitty cats. And, uh, you know, the love that we can show to the least of those that surround us. You know, there's people out there that we are maybe intimidated by. We might be afraid of because, you know, we label people. And quite often we're afraid of, of what we don't know. You know, and we don't know much about homeless people when it comes down to it. We, we know what we see in the movies, what we see on TV. But for the most part, I've learned that those who are truly homeless, you know, they have a big heart and, uh, you know, they're doing whatever they can do to survive. And many of them, too, they're not just looking for their, you know, next fix. They're, they're looking to survive. And I believe that life is more than survival. And I believe that I have a calling and that is to love people. And, you know, I think it is by loving others that you bring a little bit of hope into this world. And I believe that we've all been given gifts. You have a purpose. I have a purpose. You have a destiny. I have a destiny. These gifts, these skills are part of our purpose. It's part of why we were, you know, born where we were born in the time that we were born with the parents that we had, the siblings, the high school you went to, the job you have. Everything you have about you is not an accident. You know, and you're called, just like I'm called, to do whatever you can with whatever you got, wherever you are, to make this world a better place, to breathe life into this world. You know, that's essentially what I'm doing on YouTube. I make daily videos, and sure, I, I, I sing and dance sometimes and read books and cook. and But, you know, aside from my day-to-day -day life, I mean, there there's parts of my life that also need to be told and that is that I do what I can to love people you know and and Ruah R-U-A-H is the breath of life is about life that gets breathed into me and I get life breathed into me just by simply chasing the dream of becoming the world's greatest storyteller I get life breathed into me just by you know going to auditions and and acting classes and you know when I go get headshots done and all that stuff with acting and everything that has a it just fills me with, with, with joy and passion in life. And, and when I get that all put into me, I need to pour that out. So, you know, when, when, when I chase the dream of, you know, being able to make movies and television shows and theater for the rest of my life, I want to pour that out. And I can pour that out into the homeless people around me. Uh, it's very simple life. 
But as I get poured into, life gets breathed into me. I turn around and I'm breathing that life into others uh, around me. So that's essentially what's happening. All right. Thank you for visiting me this morning. Uh, what does it say here? Great joy. <laughs> Anyways, God love you. Remember at Ruah is the breath of life. We are changing the world one video at a time, one story at a time, one moment at a time, and one person at a time. Okay. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Hopefully that video is going to be coming your way. And then that way, uh, you know, you can just have a, a better idea of what I'm talking about when I say serve others, love others, because I'm going to put it on camera and, you know, throw some music on there and just show you guys, you know, it's pretty easy to open your house up once in a while. Um, okay. Until we meet again, take care.